بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما ٹرپلے اوور ویو نو ٹرپلے سٹینڈس فار اتھینٹیکیشن اتھورائزیشن اینڈ اکاؤنٹنگ نو اتھینٹیکیشن اف یو اف یو گو وتھ سم بیسک جنرل ایگزامپلز اتھینٹیکیشن ریفرز ٹو اتھینٹیکیٹنگ دی یوزر اور ویریفائنگ ہو دی یوزر از like if you take an example of any any kind of uh, credit card details let's say if you are using your own credit card probably you may want to do some kind of transaction now in order to do the transaction you have to provide the credentials like like maybe you need to type in the pin or or some card number and some pin on the back side or maybe if required any other additional details or if you if you take an example of Uh, any specific user in the company is trying to log into his computer and before he actually log into the computer he must provide his username and the password to make sure that he he can access that particular computer so that's what authentication also so general examples authentication is nothing but uh, verifying the username and the password and ensure that whatever the username and the password he, have, he has provided it's correct and once the user gets authenticated or once you once you log into your card with it with the proper details then authorization is going to tell what resources you can access what resources you cannot access just like when a computer when a user tries to log into the computer in the company network and he will be authenticated and once he successfully gets authenticated he needs to uh, we need to make sure that what resources he can access so if this user belongs to accounts department and i want to make sure that this particular user will be able to only access accounts computers or if there is any guest user who is coming into your network uh, maybe he connecting to my wifi network let's say and i want to make sure that this user should be only able to access internet not not more than that so authorization is going to tell what the user can access just like if you take a general example of your credit card uh, what what is the maximum amount of transaction you can do so maybe you have a limit of let's say 800 dollars probably but you, you cannot do more than that so that's what authorization authorization is restricting the user what he can do what he cannot do now finally the accounting is about keeping a track of the things what is happening in your network uh, keeping a track of what are the changes the user did like the example of user whenever he logged in he will be authenticated maybe an account user and once he gets authenticated he will be authorized to 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 only access the resources specific to that particular department and then you also need to keep a track of when this particular user logged in what time he logged in or what are the changes he did those kind of things so if you want to keep a track of all these things then we also need to enable a service called accounting So I'll be using this triple A, accounting, authorization, and and authentication. These three A's we'll be using in our network security also. Like in network security, also we'll be using this three A's. So we we do this for either device access. Now again, for device access means uh, let let me just write down device access and or device administration. We can say typically. and then we can say for network access also now device administration means let's take an example i got like in the previous sessions we 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 discussed about some telnet or ssh protocols now this this will allow the user to log into the device remotely so maybe uh, a user who belongs to it department and his job is to manage the router the switch or the firewalls now this user actually tries to log into the device by using ssh or telnet and once and i want to make sure that this user should be able to log into the device so we need to authenticate the user that's that's the first step so we need to make sure that that user should be allowed to do device administration so the first step he needs to get authenticated provide the correct username and the passwords and once this user log into the device then he also need to be authorized now in authorization if this user belongs to the level 1 engineer and i want to make sure that this user should be only able to execute some basic show commands 
and maybe he can do some basic changes like changing the host name changing the IP addresses but he cannot make any other changes like he, he cannot do any changes in the routing configurations he cannot shut down the interface something like that that's what authorization and if, he, if the user is belonging to the level 2 and I want to give some additional permissions he can do all the changes but he cannot erase the configurations or delete any configurations so for device administration we, we need to authenticate our users for accessing the devices remotely and we also need to give permissions what they can do what they cannot do based on different user accounts and finally we also need to keep a track of what he did what are the changes he did when he logged in what time he logged in what IP address or which device he used to log in those kind of things so this is this is these are the options relating to device administration we'll, we'll talk about more in detail as we progress with our topics and also you need to do some triple A the same thing for network access now network access relates to like a user let's say a user as I said a computer a user who is using who belongs to some accounts department and another user let's say who, who is actually a guest user now the most of the today's production networks uh, everyone uses their own device let's say he's carrying his own laptop or maybe his his mobile phone and is connecting to a, a Wi-Fi network and this user should be authenticated first before he actually connects to the network uh, maybe to Wi-Fi network or wide network any network so the first step he this user must be authenticated so he will provide his own username and the password and he gets authenticated and once this user gets authenticated depending upon the username and the passwords uh, this user belongs to accounts and I want to make sure that this user should be only able to access the resources on the accounts department but not everything uh, of course you can also access internet and some resources restricted resources so I want my server we'll, we'll see servers so I want my this user this user will be automatically dynamically should be assigned to my uh, my accounts VLAN and also may, you may want to push some ACLs probably you can you can actually define some restrictions to that particular user and if that user is a normal user who is using some guest accounts which we created and that user will only be able to access the resources on the internet but he cannot access anything on my company network so that's what authorization is like restricting the user what he can access in the network so of course he, he should be authenticated first before he connect and access anything in the network and once he gets authenticated he, he will be restricted what he can access what he cannot access the resources on the network and finally you need to keep a track of when this user logged in which devices or which IP he used and when he logged out probably that information is also important so AAA will be seeing these options more in detail as we progress so we can do AAA for either device administration or for network access like just a quick authentication what we discussed identify uh, provides identification of the username we use either username and the passwords or some digital certificates we'll talk about more on this certificates like PKI public key infrastructure in cryptography topics and the user needs to be authenticated or the machine machine means maybe you're connecting your printer and I want the printer also should be authenticated before it can connect to my network or maybe a vivo IP device that's what network access it comes in the network access for authentication now this authentication we can do either for device administration device administration or for network access or maybe device access we can say now authorization we can authorization is like I said what resources the user can access so if you're using device administration or device access we can define some privilege levels and what are the commands the user can execute once he log into the device once he log into the ASA or the or the router and network access we can say that when an accounts user connects to the network which VLAN he should be assigned what ACL uh, should be applied to that user and some encryption some advanced 
authorization like security group tax encryptions we can we can apply and finally accounting accounting means keeping a track of what are the changes they did or what it is just like evidence of what they did and for device access we can if we can do some command command accounting something like that and for network access we can do some kind of statistics like when they logged in maybe for billing purpose or you want to identify the devices based on what username they they used ip and other things the connection state or session state when they connected and when they disconnected 